Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to make a video about fragrances I wore last week because I really like this type of content and I really like watching other fragrance reviewers do their week of fragrances and this one is the type where I sometimes tend to wear like two fragrances during the day or I do layering combos so I'm gonna tell it those also and <laughs> yeah sometimes I start with another fragrance in the morning and once it kind of fades during the day I spritz another fragrance in the evening so I'm just gonna show you guys my last week's stuff so uh, I have a special combo that my man really likes and it's these two together so we've got pink sugar here or the toilet and we've got coconut uh, by body shop and when i put these together i get the most beautiful caramelly uh, kind of uh, scent and really sweet and really ooey and gooey because this one is sharp by itself but when I put it together with coconut it kind of becomes this really nice uh, kind of like caramelly scent that I actually really like so pink sugar by itself is a little too sharp for me but this is a nice little thing I put together and my boyfriend told me it smells so delicious <laughs> so yeah it smelled delicious that day and that lasted really nicely. It was like eight hours, uh, the longevity on it. <laughs> then to work, because I felt like I needed some kind of like a little bit of peppiness and wanted to just feel fresh a little bit, I spritzed this on my like jacket <laughs> because I can't wear perfume to work all the time. Uh, I tend to not wear a lot of perfume there but to my jacket uh, for like when I was riding my bike I put this one and this is a real-time kind looks uh, for her and this is a really soapy pink flower fragrance and I just thought that it was perfect for that just smelling clean and happy and like just like I took a shower <laughs> type mm, so yeah I really like clean scents nowadays also and musky scents this is a clean musky scent with a little bit of mint and peony and other kind of like really refreshing things and it lasts about three to four hours so it's not a super lasting one <laughs> mm, another one that I used similarly this week to just kind of pep me up is this one and it's a body mist uh, Coconut Shake by S Skill Sky is the Limit Jean Arthes series and this one has top notes of yuzu, lemon and pineapple and middle notes of amber, peach and coconut and uh, base notes of vanilla, tonka bean and coconut milk and this is like a piña colada type of thing but more fresh, okay? It's like a fresh, fresh piña colada and I just really like this one, so I've been uh, using it all the time <laughs> lately. Then, uh, when I was feeling really like nauseous all the time, I wanted something fresh. And for that I used uh, Elizabeth Arden Litchi Lime. And this one is like straight out of shower, like you've used some sort of like really energizing uh, lychee and lime shower gel like that's how this smells like and it's like really sharp and tart and I really like that about this one it makes me feel better when I feel a little down okay so it's like like nice pick-me-up smell so I wore that when I was nauseous and it helped with the nausea a little bit then I wore Libra the whole day because I had a free day and this one is a YSL Libre uh, dupe and it's a lavender vanilla fragrance and when I wore this I noticed that there's some sort of a note that I kind of don't like a lot and that's why I didn't wear it the next day I don't know what that is there's some artificial note that annoys me a little bit in this so 
I'm gonna have to see if I'm gonna wear this or if I should like gift it or something to someone else. I'm gonna have to keep testing. I don't know, I've never noticed that note before, but now it just started to like annoy me for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, Libra by Marson, Maison Alhambra. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little <laughs> down, down with the sickness. Okay, then uh, the most this week I wore Katy Perry's Mad Love. And this is a nice uh, creamy coconut strawberry sandalwood fragrance with floral notes. And this is my boyfriend's favorite. I wore this to bed almost every night this week. And it's a perfect like... Uh, going to bed scent. It's really creamy. It's really like skin like and it's very beautiful in my opinion And it does not last long time. It projects only a little. It's very skin scent like But I find it really nice actually. It's my signature scent. So yeah Katy Perry Mad Love. This is my summer scent <laughs> Then um, Yesterday I wore my new Fragrance from Tesori d'Oriente, Byzantium, looks like that. And yeah, don't let it uh, like fool you. It looks kind of modest, but it's a really good fragrance. This is a almond and rose and like black rose, almond, uh, powdery, labdanum uh, scent. And I just really like it. On me it smells like a uh, powdery musk with uh, some rose in the background and honey and like uh, the most realistic uh, what's that word? Manteli. Wait, almond. Yeah, most realistic almond ever. My boyfriend also gave this 10 out of 10 so that says a lot. <laughs> it's really nice. It's my favorite uh, powdery scent. It's super powdery. Then <laughs> Yesterday I wore Ragba because I wanted to see how I would uh, how it would work on skin because I only used it on a piece of strip and you can't like tell fully because these kind of fragrances need to be on skin and interact with skin chemistry and honestly the oud in this uh, when you put it on skin it does not come off as skanky as it is otherwise and it dies down into more of a vanilla scent on skin so that's good. Uh, I liked it when I wore it and my boyfriend told me I smell good. So yeah, Rakba uh, was a successful buy in my opinion. And I feel like this is gonna get better once it kind of settles a little. I've noticed with many uh, Latapas more woody fragrances that you need to like spritz them a couple of times and leave them alone and that's when they become way better when you've waited like a month and I think Rakba is the same <laughs> so I'm gonna do that uh, next but yeah this is a oud and vanilla and incense fragrance and even more than incense in this one I get like fur resin like <clears throat> it does not smell that smoky to me it's more like a fur resin in my opinion but then again, like it depends on your nose, like what you pick up and what you don't. <clears throat> but yeah, for me, I've noticed that it just smells more like fur, resin and vanilla and oud. So yeah, that one. And then today I am wearing Eden. This is Kasharel's Eden. It is a very powerful little cheapie. It has locust flower, white florals, and it has this kind of medicinal green tinge to it, and it has melon notes, and it's kind of like very dark, dense uh, greens mixed together with some melon juice and some green uh, aspects to it. it. I think it has lily pad uh, note in it. So there's water lily and lily pad and then there's melon and the locust flower like I said which gives it this weird humming note that kind of feels like it's vibrating. It almost smells like it's vibrating. It's weird. Mm. 
This is a really interesting fragrance for a collector. There's nothing like it. I've never smelled anything similar to it. And the bottle looks like a leaf. And this is like, as the name suggests, Eden. It's kind of like a forbidden fruit type of fragrance. I really like it. And on my skin it does smell quite delicious actually. Like I get that greenness and it's really like uh, uh, fruity, it's like fruity greenness that I get and it's super sweet. Almost clawing level white florals so. But I really like it okay. It's an interesting smell to me. But I'm gonna have to like wash it off when I get to work because uh, as I said I, I can't wear this to work. It's too too much for work wear. But yeah, that was my uh, fragrances of last week that I wore last week. I like making these videos because um, it's nice to see what people actually wear out of their collections and what kind of uh, fragrances they think are the best or their favorites. And I just really like showing you guys my fr favorites and watching videos like this. So I wanted to share my own with you guys. But that's all for today. <laughs> if you are not already subscribed, what are you doing with your life? Hey, maybe subscribe. It's down there. It's super easy. Just tap the subscribe button. And also maybe leave a like if you like this video. And I see you guys in my next one. Have a scentful day. Bye.